Hey, what's up? Hello, it's Julia. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. Hi, hello, what's up? So this is gonna be the third video. I recorded this like a month ago, like the first half. Well, I recorded all of it a month ago and I was editing it and it's been sitting there and I haven't done it. And as I was editing this part of the video, I was like, I'm talking too much and I need to chop, chop, chop because it's just too much and I'm taking too long to explain everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and refilm it. So I am still wearing the same shirt because gotta keep it consistent somehow. And yeah, so this is the third video. The first video was me explaining like the process between like high school to like starting college. The second one was my first week of school, like my first fall semester. It was like a little vlog, me flipping out and yeah. This is gonna be the third video of me explaining kind of what I've learned throughout all the other years. So I am currently in my third year, my junior year of college out of Florida Atlantic University, FAU. And this is kind of like what I've learned and like things that happened and just little tips and tricks. So here's what's up. So first off, I started in the summer of 2018. Summer of 2018 was kind of like the trial run, like the 33 day trial, seven day thing, because though you have to pay for it because college is not free. It's kind of like getting to know the campus, getting to know like the software, like Canvas, and just like learning little things. So I think it would be like a seven day trial. Like you're just like getting to know. I also did like the second half of summer. So for those that don't know, summer is about 12 weeks and then you can do either 12 weeks, six weeks or six weeks, like first and second half. So I did like the second half of the six weeks. So it was shorter, there was less people on campus. So it was a really nice way to ease into it. And also I did the jumpstart program, which I did explain a little bit more about that in the last video. So if you want to check that out, you can do that. But it was just a good little way to like get into it, like ease into like college life. Followed that by fall of 2018. So fall 2018, I just never was really sure what I wanted to do. And I decided architecture was what I wanted to do. Architecture is a very strict program as if they like tell you what you have to take every single semester because like tight schedule so i was like if i want to do it i gotta do it now i chose to do architecture because i said i don't want to be an office person i don't want to sit on the computer all day and i like math i like art so i was like why not mix all of that together so i tried architecture within one week i was like ooh, i don't know about this but i gave it a semester and that's what someone suggested me to do like one of the orientation leaders and that's what i did i gave it a semester within like two to three weeks i was like yeah this is really not what i want to do but I pushed through and now I have a grown appreciation for architecture. I didn't really think about how architects think and like what they have to do and like all this stuff. And though I did barely any of the work, like I only did one semester of like a five year course, but I still had some grown appreciation for it. So I still learned something. And then just as a little like blurb on the side, that semester my sister, my middle sister, she was also pregnant and on the final, so I was already sure I was not going to continue with architecture and our final was the same day that my nephew was born. So my sister was pregnant and on the same day everything was happening, like our final was at a different campus and my sister was over here and like I wanted to be like in the hospital like waiting to see my nephew come, like be presented to us all together as a family and I wasn't there so it's fine I still saw him that same day but that's just like a little side thing that happened after that I did my first official major change right there and then so right after that week of like finals and stuff I switched from architecture to business and that leads us into spring 20 wait 2019 spring 2019 i started off as a business major so as things went on i did do a lot better i did like it i did prefer to be on my computer more than like sketching things out and doing all of that so it was pretty nice the only thing that is something that i've learned that semester was that though i don't know i've never thought about it like this so maybe you haven't either but college is a business they want your money and it sucks it's literally like a little city so they need your money because there's like dorms so people live there there's places to eat so there's food there's like activities like the gym and there's even a police department like it's everything a little city needs so they want your money and i don't want to like uh, i don't know i don't want to like be mean to colleges but it's true it's a business they need your money so something that i wasn't really aware about is that 
all around school I would see this thing like 15 to graduate, like 15 to go, 15 something. So they were pretty much suggesting that you take 15 credits per semester, but they were talking about your main semesters. So they're talking about spring and fall, the two main semesters. But there's also summer. Summer is normally shorter and like more people don't want to do it because it's like summer break. But if you take 15 credits both semesters, like the big semesters, that's 30 per year. 30 credits per year gets you to graduate in four years because it's about 120 credits to graduate. What they don't specify is that if you want, you can take summer classes. So if you just split that between all three semesters, so maybe take like 12 during the spring, six during the summer, and then 12 during the fall, you still get your 30 credits and it's not as much work. And if you're also working part-time, full-time, whatever it might be, it's less stress. So don't let them fool you. I do have a couple friends that are taking like 18 credits a semester and that's great for them. But me personally, I couldn't do that, but I fell into the trap. So after I did my architecture semester, I was taking a little bit more than 12 credits just because architecture counts for more credits or something like that. So when I switched to business, the advisor, she was like, girl, like you were, you had such a heavy load, like you can take 15 credits, like that's a piece of cake. So I was like, yeah, yeah, I can do it. I can't, I couldn't, that's not what it is. So I started off and I had to withdraw the class and that was the scariest, most nerve wracking thing for no reason because later on I realized that so many people withdraw and it's perfectly fine and nothing is wrong with that. So that's the two things. Know your limit and if you need to withdraw, withdraw and learn from your mistakes. So that's that. Obviously if you can, don't withdraw because most likely you're going to lose all the money that you had to pay for the class. So if you don't need to, don't withdraw obviously, but if it comes down to it, take the withdraw W instead of the F from failing because it's better for your GPA, I'm pretty sure. So Then that leads into summer term, like summer 2019. Summer 2019, I just took that one class that I withdrew, and let me tell you, it was so much better. I withdrew that class, and when I was taking it in the summer, that was the only thing I had to think about. So I gave it my full force, and I did really, really well in it. Also that summer, I was approached by a professor that I had in the fall, so like six months prior, and she offered me a job as a TA. So just a little hint, if you like a teacher or if you like a subject, be friendly, be nice, and like reach out because you never know when you can get an opportunity. Maybe not as a teacher assistant or something like that, but like just anything like networking. It's a great tool to have. So as much as you can network and make friends, I guess. Next thing was fall of 2019. Fall of 2019 was quite a time. So I was taking less credit. So I was taking 12, which is like the ba the like the base number to be considered full time. So I was still a full time student. I was still working at my jobs and I was also a TA so I had an extra responsibility because I just can't handle having free time apparently. I just always have to put more things on my plate so don't do that but if you want, do what you need. But I think that semester I learned that like take every little bit of time that you have and like do something productive so that semester because I was so busy and I had so many little things to do, every single break I had at school or somewhere else I would try to get work done so that by the time that I came home I wouldn't have to do school work or at least I would have less school work to do because it was a lot easier getting everything done during the day so that when I came nighttime, time I can like do whatever the hell I want to do like I could watch stuff I could like just sit around I can look at the ceiling whatever so I would definitely suggest that try to be very productive during the day so that later on you can like go out with your friends or something like that you're not always like consumed by schoolwork or like work work or anything like that so use all the time that you can to get everything done so like on to spring like right after fall i was getting a little better at like finding my routine things weren't as busy anymore or things were still busy but like i was trying to like find my groove so that was the semester that i had to declare my major i declared i don't know why but i declared hospitality and tourism that's what i thought i wanted to do so i even left my job that i had started working at for like a year and a half and I got myself a job at a hotel because I found that learning something in school and like doing that part is definitely different from actually being on the field so if you get a chance to like try something out 
definitely suggest it whether it be taking a class or like working in the field doing an internship or volunteering just get yourself into what you want to do or at least what you think you want to do because let me tell you it's a lot different from just learning it to like actually doing it so that's my suggestion take it or leave it spring 2020 which is where we're at right now that's the last semester that just happened and that was also when we got into a pandemic so things became online which really kind of sucked at first just because if i purposely chose my classes to be in person like i didn't want to take it online but it's okay we went through and we still conquered and we moved on with it right now it's summer of 2020 so it's been two years since i started um college and we're still doing online school because pandemic so stay home please thanks and yeah right now the only thing I, I don't think i've learned a lot like nothing major happened it's just that we're in a pandemic so like all the classes are online and things are a little different but we're learning i just literally just today i signed an offer to do an internship so we're like doing it dude oh i also since i left the hotel and i got this internship i also switched my major from hospitality and tourism to management because I'm still indecisive on what I want to do and hospitality and tourism is very focused on one thing like one category of jobs when management is more like spread out so if you can't tell I'm indecisive and I don't know what I want to do with myself but we're getting there so that's pretty much the breakdown of all my semesters I think I got everything if I didn't cover anything let me know down below or like ask me DM me, do something. Let me know your questions or if I forgot anything or if you want to know anything specifically. Also, just as like a brief like overview of little other things, I did not participate so much in college as I did in high school and it kind of sucks, but I do want to participate more. As I started in the fall, like my first fall semester, I did participate in more like football games. I went to a baseball game, a basketball game. And as time went on, I started like slowly drifting away from that, which is perfectly fine. If you're still involved in those things, great. If you're not, then that's perfectly fine too. Everyone's on their different like wavelength. But if you're not really interested in that stuff, I do still suggest going to at least one football game just for the experience, just to see what it is, you know, like just do it. I do want to, as we start going back into school, I do want to use all the resources I can. I never really use the gym at our school even though it's free but like we pay for it in tuition. I did want to start using it more even though it's intimidating but I did take like a yoga class and a like a cycling class and it wasn't that bad so I do want to start using that. I also want to participate in some type of club or just anything but once again I always put too much things on my plate and I don't have enough time so we're working on it but yeah again if i forgot anything if you have any further questions just let me know in the comments like this video if you thought it was kind of useful if you haven't watched the other videos give it a check out it was probably slower than this one because i think i talked really fast in this one but yeah that's what's up and yeah like this video comment down below subscribe to my channel ask me what you want to see and like what you liked and if you have questions and just communicate with me please and thank you Thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye i was gonna mention this before but i didn't want to point it out so that if you didn't notice it you weren't gonna notice it but if you did or you didn't notice it my baby hairs are out of this world in this whole video but i didn't want to re-record this video for the fifth time so deal with my baby hairs they're beautiful and i love them and yeah